It's your boy Octocrew, and today we're gonna to be doing something very different than my usual videos, which is just reaction stuff. And I know you guys like them, I like doing them, but I wanna spice it up a bit. I'm gonna do maybe some gameplay videos and videos like today where I talk about things that either bother me or I find awesome. And today is a is a bother me. But first I wanna say just thank you guys for subscribing. I think we're at 600 now, 600 plus. And that blows my mind. I never thought I'd get over 500. Anything more is icing on the cake because I'm just doing this for fun. I'm killing time when I can, baby. I don't have many friends and I don't have many other things to do. So here we are. And today we're going to get right into the topic. And it is about Leffen. Yes, the big left, the Leffenator himself. He tweeted something out last night that just, uh, I can't even sugarcoat it. It was just really, really dumb. I'm going to read it out for you right now. Trust me, you know absolutely nothing about streaming Ultimate if you think minimum wage jobs are harder. There it is. And I'm trying to think of a way where I just don't like trash on Leffen. Like, I don't want to make a video just trashing on the guy, but like, it's hard not to when you read that. Because it's just, like I said before, it's just dumb. There's no intelligence there. It was a heated thing that he just said in the moment. And that's not an excuse to say this kind of stuff. And he did apologize, which was impressive. Here's the apology. Many people don't have a choice but to work minimum wage jobs to survive. And honestly, it was really insensitive to compare them, especially during COVID-19, where some people are struggling harder than ever. Good apology. I can't say anything bad about this from Leffen. I think it was a good move just to come out and say that. But he kind of ruined it because this was at the end of the thread of his apology. The rest of it's all just filler. Like, it really doesn't matter. But here's the part in the beginning where he kind of explains his out of context. So I'm just gonna read it for you and put it on the screen, of course. Woke up to getting ratioed hard, LMAO. Yeah, it's out of context, but it did, it did, it did, it did. It did. I think he meant it's. Yeah, we're gonna go it's. It's obviously a really shitty tweet. It is, it really, it definitely is. My point was that to stream Ultimate the way I did, 12 to 6 hours days with a sleep schedule to favor US audiences with no days off for a month straight online only was awful. I'm gonna give that to you, Leffen. Streaming for that many hours a day, especially with no breaks for an entire month with a sleep schedule that does not even remotely make sense for your time zone is rough on the body. And it is awful. The Wi-Fi sucks. I can see how it gets frustrating after a while. But Leffen, you forgot a key thing. Your context right now is an excuse. Leffen, you chose to do this. No one forced you. No one told you to. You decided to. And why did you do it, Leffen? Why did you do it? Oh, yeah, because doing this, especially with Ultimate releasing, gives you what? Tons of views, which leads to subscribers, which leads to money. You did it as a business move. I respect that. But for the love of God, don't go out of your way to say, like, oh, it was so hard on me. Feel bad for me. Oh, because you decided to do it. You didn't have to. But you weighed two things out. My health or money and you chose the money so i don't feel bad for you what you're calling context is an excuse and it's just embarrassing that you're trying to lean on that you should have just left at the apology i think your context like i said before is a massive excuse to have people go like oh poor left and oh he chose to do something so difficult oh no like no one feels that way it's actually kind of embarrassing and childish I'm just gonna say this now. I'm not trying to trash on Leffen. I really like him as a competitor. Like in Melee, he's amazing. Ultimate, he did good, but complained a little too much, which was annoying. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, he's doing great. And I think he's doing great in Tekken as well now. Like it's actually impressive. He's good at fighting games. But it's always his opinions and the way he kind of types, talks to people, that's always very negative in my perspective. He's usually insanely condescending, as you could see from these comments alone. Like the whole, like, trust me, you know absolutely nothing but streaming kind of thing. Like right there, condescending. Why couldn't you just say, you know what, man? Streaming is actually a pretty hard job. Why did you have to make the comparison to minimum wage? Like you're literally an idiot. Why didn't you just say streaming is actually kind of hard? You don't understand these things that we have to deal with and do. That would have been perfect. But the comparison, again, unnecessary. Like why would you do that? And the whole thing, like, oh, woke up getting ratioed and stuff. It's like, yeah. No, duh. Like, you can see, he doesn't really take it that serious. His apology as well was good, but, like, it felt very, like, half-assed, I would say. Like, it wasn't all in his heart. Like, he didn't genuinely mean it. It's just like, oh, you know, whoopsie, I did a bad tweet. Haha, <laughs> me say sorry now. It's kind of a problem of always have it left in. I think he's a great player, but it's just the way he acts sometimes is so... It's hard for me to watch his content because of it. Like, I like watching him in tournament, but I'll never, ever tune into his stream or watch any other of his content. Just because him as a person, not my thing. But at the end of the day, that's it for Leffen. I don't really want to talk more about him. I want to talk about myself now. I know, <laughs> very egotistical. Sounds familiar? <laughs> but 
The only thing I wanted to mention about myself is the fact that I also work from home and I know that I'm incredibly privileged and I am appreciative of the fact that I can right now. I've been doing it for five to six years. I hate it with every ounce of passion I have in my body and I wish I could just do streaming. Because even if it was a game I hated, it'd still be better than what I do. And the hours that I have, they're all over the place. But you know what? At the end of the day, that's just the way it is. I'm a pretty positive guy. I look forward to the future and maybe things will get better and I'll be doing something else. But I don't know. It's just the tweet that I see from Lef and his apology that was just really, ugh. And his excuse of context just, I don't know, man. Sometimes he seems a little ungrateful. It's a little upsetting considering how hard I know other people have it, especially people I know in my personal life. I don't know. That's all I wanted to edit on. You know, I love you guys. I hope you are all doing okay with this pandemic because it's continuously not getting much better here in uh, first world countries, especially in uh, America, which is whoo, and Canada recently, things are blowing up too. <laughs> so I don't know what to say. Things are rough, but uh, stay strong and do your best. That's all I can say. As long as you do your best, it's okay. Peace out. Bye.